this audience to the Chatelaine edition of City Line. So look at the cover of this uh, magazine. We've got a rhubarb pie going on. Let's make some rhubarb stuff with Claire Danzi, including a pie. Maybe a drink. It's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Do you love rhubarb? <laughs> Do I love rhubarb? Who doesn't love rhubarb? Rhubarb is one of the number it's in the top five search terms on our entire website. You're kidding year me. Year round. Yeah. I did not know that. So not that. only do we love rhubarb, they love rhubarb too. Okay, well let's talk rhubarb yes, then. Yes, exactly. We're not going to make a pie yet. No. I'm going to keep doing this throughout the segment. <laughs> I'm very excited but about that. we are going to make a duck and a beautiful salad with yes. beans there. Do you have beans or Well, salad? we also have an incredible rhubarb cocktail. So we wanted to mix it up. Yes, we have a pie. We have the best rhubarb pie. Hold on, where that's the kind of a teaser we'll do that for later. later. Stick around. Yeah. Best rhubarb pie ever. Don't eat the brown sugar. Okay. What we wanted to do was rhubarb in maybe some ways that you haven't experienced it. Yeah. So in a savory way. So we're going to make a cocktail. Okay. Right, love. And then we're going to make duck with a rhubarb sauce. Nice. And we were inspired actually by Thai cuisine. So this is like, it's like tamarind. Mm -hmm. Rhubarb is tangy and it can be sweet and sour. Yeah. So we make a sweet and sour sauce with lime and ginger and fish sauce oh. to go with duck. That is interesting. I, I know, like it's the crazy. idea of it's, this. And, and it's just taking that rhubarb and, you know, maybe you've had enough pie and you want right. to mix it up a little bit. Never had enough pie. Uh, never. No. Well, but tell you, you know. we almost got there when we were developing that pie recipe. I can imagine. Almost. I'm Poor back, you though. having to eat all that pie. I know. Pity me. Pity I feel me. so bad it's very, for I have you. a very hard life. Yeah, it really is. Tracy, could you put all that rhubarb in that pot? I sure can. As well as the ginger and the lime and the brown sugar and the, no, not the lime, the ginger. The brown sugar. Yeah. So this is the tamarindy like rhubarb sauce that's gonna go with our duck. Okay. Now let's talk about duck. How let's do you talk feel about, about duck? duck? You like duck, don't you? Uh I like duck. I find it to be very fatty. It's yes. a very fatty bird. Look at it. I'll Look tell you, it. Leo loves duck. We live right by Chinatown, so we have a lot of duck in our house. I understand. Mm -hmm. And the thing about duck is it is fatty. Look at all that fat. Yeah. And well, what we're gonna do what makes it taste so good. It's what makes it taste so good. But yeah. you know what? You wanna cook most of that fat away. Okay. So you wanna cook it in such a way that the fat is gonna drain away and you're gonna be left with a gloriously crispy brown mm. skin. And here's the secret. Okay. So you take your duck breast, and these are available everywhere. I did not get a duck and take the breast off of it. They're already available for you. Um, and you want to get it with the skin and the fat. And what I'm going to do is cross hatch it. Okay. And we've got a great how-to picture of this in the magazine as well. So I'm going to essentially make like a diamond pattern mm -hmm. all over the top of this duck breast. You said how to, and I should mention that the whole edition of Chatelaine is a how to guide. It is indeed. So this is how to use rhubarb. We're going to be talking about all sorts of things: how to win an argument, how to wear bronzer, how it's to use color in your decor. Basically, it's how to do everything. How -to. Everything in your life, how to do it, and how to do it better. That's right. So you see, I've got that all cross hatched there. Yeah. Now I'm going to put it skin side down into the pan, and it's only on medium. Okay. So it's not too, too hot. Yeah. And what's going to happen is slowly, slowly, the fat's going to come out. I'm going to kind of take the fat out of it as it cooks, and then it's oh. going to end up. And you see on the cooked version here, there isn't that layer of fat anymore. You're right. So what's left is the great, beautiful, crispy skin. It's like, you know, when you roast a chicken and the skin is the best part. It is. And then when you mix, match it yeah. with this tangy, sweet and sour rhubarb sauce, Dinner party hero. It's pretty good. Let's start it off with a cocktail. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> For our sauce, our, our tangy tamarind type sauce, yes. is this just gonna cook down? Yeah, because that's you know, it. Like rhubarb is like spinach. When it cooks, it lets out all that water. Yeah. And it just becomes a sauce really oh, easily. Oh, great. Okay. All so, right. meanwhile, let's drink it like now. Like I said, it's like water, so we may as well just drink it. Might as well. Fresh, raw rhubarb. Yeah. Again, really, really tangy and really sour. So, I'm going to yeah. put in something sweet and delicious. Okay. They, which is, they were asking me in the audience if this is a, a, an alcoholic cocktail. Um, I guess there's no way around saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the way I pour. Nice. Um, you know. <laughs> Parties are fun at Claire's. <laughs> they, they really are. Yeah, just regular They're nights blast. are fun at my house, too. <laughs> um, so it's just rhubarb, amaretto, some lemon juice, a bit of sugar, and then I just blitz that and strain it and make it into essentially a martini. That's it, huh? Yeah, that is it. Ooh, nice, tangy, tart summer treat. Yes, exactly. 
We're gonna shorten that for the sake of our poor audience's ears. Yep. And then it goes in here with some ice. Oh, I just happen to have some ice right here. And are we gonna shake it up? Oh man, this is my favorite part. This is where you get to be um, like your favorite movie star. <laughs> I didn't even strain it. Oh no, don't be mad. Follow the recipe when you do this at home, people. You know what, I don't really mind if there's some chunks in my drink, it's whatever. Good. It's good for your insides. It's fiber or something. And then you just shake it's that fine. puppy. Ooh. Oh yeah, get a little bit here and there and everywhere. And then and you, you have a beautifully pink, slightly chunky. I like it. It's, oh, it's almost kind of frothy. <laughs> it's kind of frothy. I'm trying to spin oh a positive, my gosh. put a positive spin on this. Maraschino cherry. Look, I can't even get I the cherry those. in. How many drinks have I had? <laughs> I know, I have a problem with maraschino cherries. I have too. a big problem. Mm. That's why I never open them up. Oh my gosh, look at us. Beautiful. Beautiful there. You see our duck is cooking out slowly. I know, it smells Spoon so good. Fat All off. that fat is just running it's off run of away. it. It's gonna run away. Amazing. Mm. Okay, so as I mentioned, how-to guide, uh, but we will put these recipes on our website. That is cityline.ca, and we'll have a rhubarb pie for you a little bit later. Oh. We're going to show you how to weave the beautiful uh, crust, the pie crust, right? Just weave. like that. We're That's how weave. you do it. Practice.